one quick fact check. I like to also try to dispel myths and talk like this. What causes dyslexia? Why do people have dyslexia? What causes your hair color? What causes your eye color? And guess what causes dyslexia? Genetics. Solid data says it's highly genetic. Runs in families. Now, doesn't mean you can't have reading problems that are not due to genetics, but those are not dyslexia. That's an environmentally induced learning problem. If you're the child of migrant farm workers and your family move from school to school to school and you never get regular education, guess what's likely to happen to your reading skills? Probably not be as well developed. But all the research coming out right now says language-based learning problems are highly genetic. It's not a guarantee, it's a predisposition. You're more likely to have trouble because there's family history. The stats right now say if one parent has trouble, the child is more eight times more likely to have trouble too. If both parents have some family history, which sometimes might be hard to do because most kids, their parents or their grandparents, no one was diagnosing dyslexia or learning problems back in their day. But they're the ones who today, as adults, Guess how you can tell they probably had weak language skills? What activity they do that you can actually see that they put in front of you that tells you how well their language skills are developed? How many adults read out loud to each other? A lot or a few? Very few. Very few adults actually read each other. So you're not going to be able to tell by the adults reading because really you don't read out loud to each other as adults. But what do you do that people can see? It's not reading. That's writing and spelling. So most adults who have lingering learning difficulties, you'll see it more in their spelling because they can't hide that. They actually have to show it to you. They actually have to spell it for you. There's an aha moment. <laughs> but you also may perceive it in their speech. What if an adult says to you, let me make myself specifically clear? What's the problem with that? Yeah. Or they say, I'm so frustrated with this university. And as a child, the parents will say, honey, the word's frustrated. Now the child will say, I'm saying frustrated, mom. She says, no, mom says, no, no, honey, frustrated. frustrated. He says, frustrated, mom, you're making me frustrated. Because you know? why is the child struggling to actually match what the parent is saying? What does that tell you about their language processing system? Is it strong? Is it weak? That's a weak system. They're not perceiving all the sounds that are actually being produced by the parent. That puts us at risk for having other language problems because which system came first, spoken or written? Spoken language problems first. So if you have trouble perceiving words with others, you're at higher risk for having trouble with other language problems.